not one of the Relata's mercenaries, are they? Or has it their hiring again? Give them a white bird if I were you. My words, O path abiding people of this holy city. Rumors circulate. Rumors about the horrible events. Just sit on their asses and help them settle themselves. <laughs> Controversial recruit? So, hungry? I've got just what a weary walk blast. What can I do for you? Sure.
Come back anytime. Hungry? My sir? Not in the mood for talking. to pay normally though as much as the grandmaster favors you metal and work don't come for free Fabled prodigy. I hope you can live up to what they say about you. I really do. Yes? Yes. One day. Yes. They are. Just well, finding out about the Blackstones was definitely a great step forwards. But still, we're left with a myriad of questions. Sometimes I feel pathetic, to be honest. Like a child, asked to understand the functioning of a Starling airship. I do? Thought I had gotten rid of it by now. But yes, I'm originally from Nirim. Just like you, as I've heard. Unreliable. That's what they are. Oh, I don't know. Probably because I don't have very fond memories of my time there. You know, if someone would have told you twenty years ago that one day I would be the Archmagister of the Holy Order, you'd have probably laughed in his face. <laughs> it's absurd just to think of it. You know, I was a slave there. I can't bloody believe it. Yes. You see, I was born into a traveling group of Eterna minstrels. I never got to know my father, though, and living that way was hard. So my mother eventually decided to burn all bridges behind us and start over. <sighs> Sorry, I'm, I'm babbling. I don't want to bother you with my boring stories. Well, after some days on the road, we met a traveling merchant who gave us a ride to the next village, a, a small room named Sildren in the Salathin Forest. It seemed almost perfect at the beginning. The place was quiet, and my mother found herself a job as a weaver in the local Count's castle. One day, however, the Count simply stopped paying her, and, well, when she asked for the reason, he told her that we were his property from that moment on, just like that. Why wouldn't it be? We were just a woman and a young son, and he owned both the land and the local guard. We had to serve this Creo, that was the Count's name, for nine years. It was horrible. No, no one. We weren't the only slaves he kept, and the villagers were too afraid to do anything. As for Chancellor Baratheon's armies, well, I'd be surprised if they even knew Sildren existed. Pure luck, I suppose. One day, an Endralean merchant and his escort passed through the village. They were on their way to Waverock to catch a ship from there. And just by coincidence, he saw me crushing some herbs I had found in the forest. That's what I did in the little spare time I had, you know. The Salathin forest is so incredibly rich with plants, you have no idea. What I didn't know was that I had found an entire sheaf of God's tongue. That impressed the merchant so much that he simply bought me. He left her there. Believe me, what he did had nothing to do with mercy. 
He just saw that there was money to be made off of me. I cried and protested, of course, but two months later, our ship arrived in Ark, where he got infected with flesh maggots and died shortly thereafter. Luckily enough, he was a sublime. And since his relatives didn't know what to do with me once he was dead, they simply asked the order to grant me the novitiate, which they did. Doing. <laughs> By the left path, it sounds crazy when I tell it like that. And it probably is. But back then, it just happened. I tried, but as you can imagine, my obligations made my options to do so very limited. Only recently, however, word reached me from a mercenary whom I sent over. According to him, Creo is dead, and his castle was deserted. But who knows if he just said that to appease me. I think when all of this is over, I might ask the Grandmaster for permission to travel there myself. And then, who knows? <laughs> By the righteous path, now I really am babbling. I am sure a man like you has better things to do than listen to the stories of a boring old chronicler. I should probably get back to business. Forgive me. Ah, yes. Here. There they are. I've marked the most relevant parts so you don't have to read the entire book. Just see if they tell you anything that could give you a clue as to where you should start searching. I will be waiting at the beacon. Kalarak, Baranthiel. Same shit, different smell. May his light guide you. Yes. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so... Mmm, a real pretty thing you are. We should spend some time together. But you can't do that! We're at capacity, my sir. And even if we weren't, the sickle hasn't paid a penny to us in the weeks. And unfortunately, it is them who keep us alive. <sighs> I'm sorry. I... But... This is crazy! Go to the Apothecary's Golem. Maybe he still has something to treat your kid. But even if he does, it will be the last time. I'm sorry. It burns. What? Who are you? Oh, really? And what could someone working for the Order bring down to a place like this and risk spoiling his fine garments? Take a look around and you'll see the problem. What do you want? Just spit it out. A black stone? No idea what you're talking about. Now, is there something else? If not, leave. Time is sparse these days. Oh, thank the sun. There you are. I've been looking for you. I followed you. It's about your mission. I know that the Grand Master ordered you to find the Black Stones. And I believe I know where to find the one you were looking for down here. Far away from here and I can show you where. The only thing I ask of you is that no one must know about my part in this. Promise me that, and I'll tell you what I know. Thanks. Believe me, I don't like this any more than you do. Come, follow me. Hmm? I remember coming here as a child. The apothecary gave me something to eat before setting me on the streets again. All that, it seems so distant now. It's easy to forget about the other side of the coin once you haven't seen it for a while. All right, this is better. Have you ever heard the name Dalgalar? Healer of the poor. Yes, that's what some people called him. It doesn't do him justice, though. Dalgalar helped everyone, regardless of his wealth. The only difference was that he had the rich people pay for their treatment. Do you also remember why he left Ark? Yes. For him, the end justified the means. For example, it is said that he once healed a crippled soldier by replacing his lost leg the League considered such practices pathless, but Dalgalar refused to give in, and that is how they came to blows. Finally, Dalgalar left Ark and moved into a remote old castle in the Frostcliff Mountains. True, but people fear what they don't know. It has always been like that. I guess you know the rest of the story. He became more and more reclusive until one day, he locked the gates and was never heard from again. The apothecaries say that it was his eccentricity which was to blame, but I think there is more to it than that. I know it did. I recently read the notes of one of the few apprentices he permitted to come with him. And this is where it gets interesting. Dalgalar researched something he only referred to as the Angel. No one but him was allowed to take part in its creation, 
and he hired dozens of mercenaries to get him the resources he needed for his experiments. Books, relics, rare herbs, things like that. And one of those relics is a small dark stone shining like the skin of an eel. Yes. What do you think, Sa'ira? It does sound like a lead, doesn't it? I was waiting for that question. All right then, I might as well come clean. I am interested in all this because there is a rumor as to what the angel was supposed to be. A talisman. One that allows its bearer to heal any disease in the world, even flesh maggots, the yellow fever, or the black death. All of them. And I want to find this angel, Saira. Isn't it obvious? Because I want to be healed. Yes, if there's even just a sliver of a chance that this device, whatever it is, can help me, I have to take it. And that is also why the Order must not know about any of this. They would confiscate the artifact before I could use it for myself. And what am I supposed to tell them if they ask me why I need it? I can't allow anyone to learn the truth about me, not until I've dealt with it. <sighs> now enough about my motivations, Saira. Let us plan how we are going to proceed. Yes, I found us a map that should point the way from the Frostcliff Tavern. Go prepare yourself. I will meet you there. And thank you for helping me. I know I might not show it that much, but I appreciate your... Uh, friendship. I really do. Theal has returned. Malthus truly spies upon us. Stay away from it anyway. This man, this Dalgala, he was crazy. What makes you say that? Well, before he, you know, shut himself in, he sent his servants down here a couple of times each moon. And every time they hired dozens of hunters to bring them dead game, rabbits, deer, and the like. So, he probably needed them for his experiments. Hey, my damn, but why so many? I mean, 40 cadavers a week? There must be something wrong with that. Maybe he's an entropist, a bone mage, or something like that. And maybe he wanted to use those corpses to raise an army of undead to take revenge on the League. Rabbits, Foljak. Rabbits. The dose makes the poison. Isn't that how you say it, my damn? Uh, yes, that's the saying. I need to go now, thank you for your help. I take it you listened. I don't think we'll get more than superstitious chatter out of these people. What do you say? Should we head out? Uh, 
as you like. Just tell me once you're ready to leave. He had lived his whole life under empty skies when a little boy Some people just don't know their path. Another exhausted soul? What do you need? I can't. What do you want me to say? He's a monster, just like the apothecary said he was. I still remember the day he and his cohorts moved into that forsaken castle. The villagers all cheered as if he were water blade incarnate. But I just knew there was something wrong with that man the moment I saw him. Especially when I saw that cart with the burial shrouds. Nothing. At least, not for a so-called healer, but I saw a shape beneath them, like a stiff body, a wax figure. And that man, Dal Galar, he kept staring at it as if he were hypnotized or something. <sighs> anyway, my advice, stay away from that castle. An outlander. Isn't hmm? this nice? It depends. Some of them are ancient and Rillian traditions, some have been written by famous bards, and some of them I've collected through my journeys. Quark, quark. What? <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe there's a trick or two I could show you, but trust me, they don't come cheap. Yes, yes, yes. Just move along, will you? A foreigner, huh? Well, you've chosen a strange time to visit this country. None of your damn business. Piss off! What is it? <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe there's a trick or two I could show you. But trust me, they don't come cheap. Well then. Yes, uh, can I help you? Dal Galar. Hmm. I was still a toddler when he moved here, so no. Uh, but I know about his castle, and if I were you, I would stay away from there. Uh, well, you know, I'm I'm up in the village from time to time to uh, to look for things, and once I was stupid enough to go near the castle gate. There was something in the courtyard, a, a, a creature made of bright blue light, and it moved and it breathed. I got away from there as quick as I could, and I ran back to the tavern. And yes, uh, maybe it was just my imagination, but still, uh, 
there's something wrong with that castle. Uh, that's all I can say. They visited her chamber. Anyone who quaffed and knew no shame could. Her heart was empty, cold and sore. Yet she cried. So, learned anything useful? Hmm. Interesting. And you're right. The guy over there really does look strange. Anyway, let's go. Hmm. Until that Quaric appeared, I actually thought things were going relatively well, like with the Sigil Stone and this beacon. But a war with Nareem? That changes everything. They trump us in every aspect. Manpower, equipment, siege machinery. Let's just hope the walls of Ark are really as durable as they're said to be. <sighs> Cold. Well, the castle is about two miles north of here. We shouldn't have any problems if we stay on the road. I suggest you go on ahead. I'll cover your back. over there looks suspicious if you ask me. Let's be careful. Get ready.
yourself. Get ready. <sighs> Careful.
by the righteous path. Wait. Brother Gallius. I don't know. Let's search their bodies. I heard about that. The Order wanted the ore for the beacon. Poor people. This bastard must have taken them by surprise. Let's take a look into that mine, Saira. Our expedition into the castle will just have to wait. 